I'm gonna go ahead and check the old family store. Hopefully they got some stuff tonight, who knows. Gentlemen, ladies, welcome back. Uh, went by the thrift store uh, tonight, and uh, they did have a couple little things, nothing major, thought we'd throw a little bit together. I think we got three things, or four things, I think we're, we're going with four. <laughs> but um, anyway, last couple times we went in there, they haven't had anything other than, you know, they even sold that Nintendo 64, so they didn't have anything, but... Um, I went in there, and the first thing I did was I went over to where they have the, the DVDs and, you know, CDs and things like that, that they just all throw together, and they throw their video games in there, too. Some of them, if they're not cartridges, go over there anyway, so. Went over there, and they did have <clears throat> one uh, GameCube game over there, and that was it, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up, because it was only four bucks, and it looked, it looks pretty cool, so I got a... F Zero GX for the GameCube, and it was four bucks. It is complete. So I was, I was like, cool. It looks like a racing game, but it looked like it'd be pretty cool. I still need to check it out and uh, see about it. Uh, the next thing I picked up was another one of these um, PlayStation. I think it's PlayStation One because it doesn't say Dual Shock up here, but. Yeah, it's a gray controller. It does. It I think it has the vibration. Most of the ones that have these analog sticks have the vibration. So uh, it was three bucks. But not only did I get this, I actually got kind of a bonus because uh, tangled up with that was uh, PlayStation One uh, AB cable to the TV, and uh, it was like tangled with the cord. So I guess they just said screw it and wrapped it all together and put three bucks on it. So. That was three bucks, so, and then the last thing, I was over and I was looking through, oh, where they put some of the electronic stuff, and there's a lot of alarm clocks and phones and stuff, I wasn't really paying much attention, and I was, kind of glanced over to my right as I was getting ready to leave that area, and I, I saw this, and I thought at first it was an answering machine, which sounds kind of funny, but I glanced over, and I was like, whoa, no, wait a second, and then I saw it, and I was like, all right, so, I got a... Uh, Genesis Model 2 and the button's sticking really bad uh, the power button is it looks like somebody's been prying prying it up around the edge to get it to come up and the reset button's kind of sticking too but I'm going to see what I can do about this and hopefully we can get it working also I don't know it, I'm thinking somebody spilled soda on this but we don't. so we don't even know what kind of damage we've got going on but it is a Model 2, and like I said, I thought it was an answering machine, like that's your blinking red light, and that's to check your messages or something. I just glanced over there, and I was like, whoa, because usually I find the Model 1s, I don't find the Model 2 that often. And so I didn't even think anything of it when I first saw it, but hopefully it works. That would be cool to have a backup Model 2, so that's basically what I picked up. I'm going to try to get it cleaned up here and see if it works, and maybe I can throw that on here with this vid, so... Uh, that was it. It was about, I think that was four dollars too, so it was eleven dollars total for those things, but it'd be cool if that, uh, Genesis Model 2 works. I never see the Model 2 loose like that. I, it's always a Model 1. And this one looks like it's been well played. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this is really, it doesn't even want to hardly come up. I'm thinking soda got spilled in there, and it just, I don't know, so we'll see. Hopefully it works, folks, so. Um, I'll throw an update on here and I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. So anyway, folks, I got it hooked up here finally. I uh, got it cleaned up a little bit. The buttons were horrible, but uh, that somebody spilled a can of soda on the top, definitely. And then around the power button, you could tell they were prying it up uh, because it would stick down. So they were sticking something in there and popping the button up to get it to pop up. But, uh... Um, I got that cleaned up. The reset button wasn't wanting to work, but I got it working, and it's hooked up. So now I have a backup uh, Model 2. I didn't have one before now. I went and checked the uh, Maximum Carnage cart, which appears to be working fine, and thought I'd uh, use the uh, Pro Pad to incorporate you know, a couple of these things that I bought recently, see how they're working. And uh, the buttons on top on this... Uh, 
uh, uh, Sassic asked, uh, they are programmable for the A, B, or C if you can, I know it's horrible, but, uh, you can put it on A, B, or C and it's like a secondary A, B, or C button. So, anyway, I'm gonna hit start, I'm gonna see how this game plays a little bit. Cool. Pad's working fine. Uh, it looks like the system's working good. So I uh, got another good deal for four bucks. Uh, second uh, model two. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, wrap this vid up. Thanks for joining me, and uh, talk to you again soon. Okay, bye. So anyway, folks, I've been playing with this controller for a few minutes, uh, this SG Pro Pad. I'm playing some Ghosts and Goblins, uh, just to run her through the paces here, and, uh, or Ghouls and Ghosts, that's what it is, and, um, this pad, the reason, the reason why I don't buy off-brand stuff is, for one, this is pretty bulky, I mean, compared to the six-button smaller Sega pad. Hold on a second. See, this is the Sega six-button pad, and it's nice and thin through here, and it's curved, and uh, the buttons are, are tapered to the direction you're moving your th thumb, so it feels good, you know, it feels right <laughs> and everything. And then this just feels big and bulky, and the buttons go, eh, 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 which I don't like. I wish this button was down here at least I don't know if the, I'm the only one but I don't like having to go up I'd rather go down and have these two and then a third one here that might be from pl when I used to use the NES Max controller because the Turbo B was up here and then we have B and A regular here and here so yeah I don't like this configuration at all um, it's just a little bulky I'll probably just keeping in the box as a you know a complete piece thing and not really use it that much because it just ain't my style so anyway folks i'm gonna let you go uh i guess i'll throw this on with the other vid or the other uh, update so uh, i'm gonna sign off i'm gonna play some more uh, ghosts and ghouls here and i'll talk to you next vid all right bye